Alright folks and welcome back, Jeremy Hazel here from Seven Season Studios and this week's tutorial is about taking this African elephant ass and making it into a texture brush in Affinity Photo. So what I wanted to prove here with this photo from Pexels.com, you can take the worst photo of the worst subject in the world and I'll show you how to make a beautiful texture brush to add some life into your creations in Affinity Photo. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. When you make a new photo brush, you're going to want to make sure to make it square. Now I'm going to make this 2000 by 2000 pixels. Okay. You want to make your images as large as possible. I'm in pixels and I'm in web. All right. And away we go. So this comes up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to place a photo into here. Now, this is a two-part lesson. This one is going to show you how to prep the photo. The second part is going to show you how to make the brush. So this is part one. We go to the AV files. Oops. Let's go ahead and make sure that I've got them. All right. So we go to your downloadables. I've included this downloadable picture of an elephant ass. You are all welcome for that. So when I do this part, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to crop this photo. Now, when I crop, you want to make certain that the area is evenly lit, that there's good texture. And I think that I found that magic space right here in the tail. I think that is a good one. And let's go ahead and apply it. All right. Looks good to me. All right. Now we're going to come over to the levels adjustment. We're going to apply a black and white adjustment and we're going to crank down the reds and the yellows in this bad boy. Perfect. All right, now we're going to apply another adjustment. We're going to apply a levels adjustment. Now, when you prep an image for a texture brush, it is all black and white. So you want to crank down the blacks. You want to crank up the whites. And now, remember the idea that black conceals and white reveals. So when you do this part, you want it black and white and you want an image that has a lot of white showing through because what you really want in the texture is the black. Now you're going to get some pieces of washed out white and that's completely fine. This looks good to prep with and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now I'm going back to my layers. Now watch what I do here. I hold shift. Oops. and I select all three layers, I right click and I rasterize. Now what that's going to do, oops, I got to group them first. Group them and then rasterize them. Look at that, rocket science. All right, so when I do this part, this is now a flat pixelated image. Now if I go up to file and I go through and I add in a pixel layer, I'm going to bring this pixel layer to the bottom. So if I come in here and I add a pixel layer to the bottom, now I'm going to grab my brush, but I'm also going to grab my eraser. All right, so now I've rasterized my image. Now what I have to do is I have to go through with my eraser and I want to get rid of the hard border. So I come over and I grab a brush. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my texture brushes and I'm not really going to say, you know, there's not one that's better than the other. I'm going to find one that's a little bit abstract because I don't want a solid edge. I'm going to crank this bad boy down. I'm going to turn up the opacity, the flow and the hardness. And now I'm going to begin erasing stuff. Okay. Now I'm going along the edge. You see how I'm erasing things? What you don't want is a big black area where when you start overlaying these textures, it looks like you're just tiling a floor. You want to make sure that you've got some areas where it's really cut in. I'm going to crank down my brush and show some areas where it's not so cut in. All right, now, do you see how it's kind of going white? What I want to do is I want to go over to my document. I want to click on transparent background. Now, once I did this now, this is going to give me an odd shaped brush. 
So this is what I want. I want to get away from the edges. I want it to be completely transparent around the edges. And I want a brush that is a little bit non-symmetrical. All right. So I think I'm in pretty good shape here with this. I'm pretty happy with this here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click out a couple of those. All right. So once I've got this figured out, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go Export. And now because I want the transparent background, I go to PNG, and I hit Export. And I'm going to call this Texture 1. Now, just to show you kind of what the difference is, we're going to go with this texture and, well, let's save it first. Save as. We'll call this working file texture 1. All right. And now, what I want to show you here, let's go ahead and we'll apply another transformation and we will invert the texture. All right, now what will be shown is just what's in white. So let's go ahead and file, save as. We'll call this working file texture inverted. Okay, oops, I can spell unverted. All right, and save, and then go to file, export, and we'll save this also as a PNG. Okay, and save. All right, so that's really how you take a photo. You then create a image very similar and ready for creation of a texture brush in the very next lesson. So if you're interested in figuring out how the brush is made, we've prepped the photo. Now we're going to go in and we're going to take a look at how to create the brush using these exact photos. All right, folks, click the link below to go to the next video, or it should show up when it's linked to the next video at the end of this one. If you like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you want more, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you're interested in learning Affinity Photo, go ahead and check out the link to our course below, Affinity Photo, the complete guide to photo editing in Affinity Photo. All right, folks, we'll see you in the next one.